you know, you go to a department for your pancreas, you go to a department for your heart. There's no holistic care, you see. But in the Indian tradition, they, t they treat the person, not the illness. So, you see, they're treating bipolar. They're not treating you. They're not treating me. So the whole thing is is, is, a, is, a, is a fake. It's false, you see, because the body is quite simple. The body, there's only two rivers in the body. There's the blood and the lymph. Right, well, if the lymph get backed up and gets toxic, which we are, because we've got toxic farming, we've got, this is controversial, but we've got overloads of kids getting vaccines now. My dad is 91. He had two time he was um, 18. My kids are expected to have 46. Some of them are six in one. So our bodies are overloaded. If you look at the, the religious way, the, we're full of filth. Not in a judgment, not saying, oh, well, you know, but our bodies are full of filth. So we're not going to feel well when we're living in a toxic environment. And our internal toxic environment is what sets up these things. So all healing is about cleansing, cleansing that body and cleaning the blood up for virus. Look at this virus, you know, I take herbs now. I take antivirals every day. So I've cleaned my system out, and so now I can live happier in my system. You, can, you can't live in a toxic system. No more than we could... People realise the planet in certain places is like where Chernobyl is. That's too toxic. You can't live there. Right. Well, humans, they're, they're poisoning the planet, and we're poisoning ourselves. So there's going to be a mass die-off now, isn't there? So many people have got chronic illness. You, you know, you walk around in Great Britain. That's why we're done so badly is because we're the most overweight, obese nation in Europe, aren't we? So, you see, that's all part of it. There's no judgment in that. That's just that's just how it is. We got, we got really unhealthy. <laughs> that's yeah. how I see it. So I, I lost what I was first starting about now. <laughs> Don't worry, Lynn. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, I just want to take a moment. Uh, that's that's absolutely fine. Obviously, you forgot what you were saying. That's not a problem. But um, I just wanted to take a moment to say, just completely off topic. Well, it's not off topic actually. To be fair, it's not. Um, I've actually been tapping into my stress levels. So I had, and again, like I don't think. So I had. I'll just. I'll say it. Um, other people who've listened to the podcast will know this. I had ketamine treatment. But to be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm. Oh God, did you? Yeah, well, I'm. I'm the thing is though, Lynn, with not trying to cut you off, I feel like this is not this podcast isn't about me. It's about you. So I, I would rather oh, yeah. because I actually there's there's episode I want to do a sort of sub series on ketamine and actually I want to be working with a clinic anyway. So I'd rather have an introduction to the the doctor who did it and the clinic and all that kind of stuff. As yeah. much as I'd love to talk to you about it, maybe we do it on a, on another podcast. Yeah, because yeah. for now, this is yeah. very much your sort of introductory Is that story. when they put it in your vein? Intravenous, yeah. Some... But essentially... How did you feel after that, then? <laughs> now we're doing it, Lynn. I, like, oh, I really... Oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. And I, I, I like... I, pff, yeah, you know what? Why not? Um... It's intravenously put, it was the worst, out of the worst two years of my life, it was the worst two weeks of my life. I didn't think it could get worse than the two years, and I had the two weeks, and yeah, for anyone that's that's listening and is in a position where they might be either considering it or about to do it, or anything like that, all I would say is make sure that you speak to the right professional, and all I would say is that it's a very, very turbulent um, treatment. It's a very quick treatment. I'm sorry, I didn't realise we're back on the podcast. Don't worry. <laughs> now you've just given away the tricks as well, Lynn. <laughs> oh, Lynn, what's going on? No, I. So for the record, I had to pause it because I, for one, I had to go and get a drink. For two, I had to get my breath back, and for three, I've got my mate who's a plumber coming over in a minute to, <laughs> to, to and I had to brief my housemate about what's going on. Anyway. Thanks, Lynn. You, you're just giving away my secrets. But anyway, um, no. So essentially, off the back of the ketamine treatment, that's what I'm saying. As I say, like, do the research, yeah. speak to the right people if that's something that yeah. the, the, the people yeah, are, are thinking that. about. Yeah. Um, but then, essentially, since then, like, I, it, for me, it's been, like, a massive work in progress. And as you say, like, you mentioned the fact that I've stopped uh, smoking. I actually stopped drinking as well. Um, I've become vegetarian. Um, <sighs> uh, well, can I just interrupt? 
that. Yeah, of course. If you're gonna if you're gonna whiz on to ve- vegetarian, then you need to be a, a good B twelve. A good B twelve. I'm actually gonna write that yeah. down. Yeah. Well, I'm writing a lot yeah. down anyway, but. Yeah. What are you drinking? Do you know you're not gonna like this though, Lynn, because you already said about caffeine, but it's a it's a diet coke. <gasps> so you've had a cup of coffee and a diet coke? Yeah, okay, but Lynn, do you know what? They don't okay, so what this is this literally, this is the thoughts of my mind, okay? I went downstairs, yeah. I looked at my housemate, and I said some expletives that I can't re- re- say on this podcast, and I said, This is ridiculous, like this is solid gold is what I actually said. And so I was like, right, I'm going to make a coffee. And then I was like, I don't, I don't expect him to make me a coffee. So I was like, I'm going to get something that's cold and fruity or cold and tasty, should we say, that's not just yeah. water, for example. Yeah. Anyway, so essentially that's all it was from my perspective is that at the moment I am fully like on a health train. B12, that's what you said. Um, B12 vitamins. Yeah. Um, I'll, send, I'll send you a link of a really good one. Yeah, amazing. All right? Yeah, yeah. That, I'd look, love that. I feel... I feel, I don't know, I want to get to know you better. Yeah. And um, and engage more. I mean, as long as you're happy, that was always my plan from about, honestly, Good. about 20 seconds in. So, as, as yeah. Long as, your girlfriend, as long as your girlfriend don't think I'm some cougar. Hey, she, do you know what? If I, anyway, then, I, you know, if I was younger, you know, and you weren't married, hey, who knows? But... Anyway, the point is, I <laughs> it to, for me it was just in terms of the ketamine treatment. The ketamine made me well, and I think a lot of people in that situation. I think that's important to remember as well. Again, if you're sort of listening in on the on the ketamine side of things, I think yeah. for me anyway, it was very important to not just rest on my laurels. And I feel like you've done exactly yeah. the same thing. Like you can't just rest on the fact that you're well and then just expect to be better for the rest of your life. That could happen. No. But at the same time, yeah. that's why I don't drink anymore. Uh, that's why I don't, yeah. uh, to be honest. I, that's I, a big one. That's a big one. You see, the two the two big starters really are the, the recognition of the, the smoking and the drinking. You know, so straight away, you're building a new pathway, what you're thinking. Yeah. Although, we, t- we tend to want replacements, you see. It's a bit like if... <laughs> What's uh, that, Lynn? <laughs> Again, yeah, we'll give it over that secret because, to be honest, this is we can just I, the whole point is honestly. So, I actually said to Lynn at the beginning of this podcast, I said, I hope you don't mind, but I'll be vaping, and I didn't really want to tell anyone. But actually, yeah, it is a replacement for cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. but it's a bit like when you take an ice cream away from a child, they'll cry. But if you give them something else first, then you can convince them to let it go. No, we as adults, we're just the same as the ego. The ego don't want to give things away unless it's getting something. Yeah. Then we judge both things to see which one is going to be better. And we've all got this, oh, I need that because that's better. And that's the whole premise of Western society. Like, my house ain't good enough. I need a bigger one. I need a better one. My car ain't good enough. I need a bigger one. I need a better one. Uh, Oh, my girlfriend, boyfriend. and I. So we're, we're, we're... We're programmed to be like that. So you see, we're the same with lots of things. But if you, like, you know, tackled your smoking and drinking, Mm. but, you know, a lot of people give up because they can't do the distance. Now, the reason I've healed completely is because I've done the distance. Mm. I've found something good every day. I've learned each day and I've built on it. So I've, I've built a better me. So although I was a ruin in the... In the Egyptian desert, <laughs> yeah, uh, I managed to restore and rebuild myself. So um, that's quite. That when you said I'm amazing, yeah, I am amazing for that. Um, you know, but it goes. I'm it goes back amazing. to the same thing, Lynn. I think like that's what I'm saying. Like again, like it, because it, and as I say, like this is super fresh in my mind for the last like five days, literally. But like, that's what I mean. Like you, you literally. You couldn't look at me in the eye now and say that this would be the Lynn now if you hadn't had bipolar. So it has to no, be a no. gift. No, because every little micro decision you make in life could have made me a different person. So I could, Lynn, this, the soul is the same, but your experience on earth is, is all just by chance and choice and consequences of those choices. Oh, and there's, no, and Lynn, for the record, there's nothing to say that you wouldn't have been this, Lynn, right? But you just don't know that. 
right? And what we do know, what we do know factually is that you were bipolar, right? So now where you are, you literally, there's no way you could have been exactly the Lynn that sits and talks to me right now if you didn't have bipolar or if you didn't, if you didn't get out of the bed on the left hand side this morning. It's exactly the same. Yeah. But when it's something as graphic and as, and as life debilitating as bipolar one, yeah, like, that's what I mean. And that's what I'm saying. Look, it was horrendous, Lynn. It was the worst 14 I years I could have ever asked for. Even the highs were amazing at the time. And I nearly swore there, Lynn. Yeah. I nearly yeah. swore. They were amazing. But at the same time, they were like, I described them in many ways. I, one of the ways I described mania in, in the form of how I did it, or it came out in me, was it was like, I, I come, my my auntie's side of the family are all water skiers. And I see it as like, mania is like the speedboat, yeah? And I'm at the back of the speedboat and I'm having a great time because right in the middle of the water is great. You're not moving anywhere. You're absolutely perfect. You're on one channel all the way through, right? You're close to the boat. You can jump in. You're fine. You're in control is is basically what I'm saying. But then everything else... Everything else is 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 being destroyed, and that's what I did. I destroyed everything, yeah. Lynn. Apps. I destroyed my bank account. I destroyed my family relationships. <laughs> I destroyed my my relationship at the time. I destroyed yeah. my friendships. I destroyed my health. I destroyed my body. I destroyed my mind. I destroyed. I mean, the list goes on, Lynn, and that's what I'm saying. Also, I do want to say, Lynn, as well, because. As you say, like, I want, I don't, I mean, I really, I would, I would, I am a bit of a salesman, if I can say so myself, so I'd probably try and sell just being mates with you anyway, but I want to 100% do this again, and I feel like this is a really amazing thing, but also I have to remember, and this is just pure, like, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say this, I have to think about the business of my podcast, and I think, actually, I, I, what I really want is to have short podcasts, right? Right. So yeah. we are, we're currently on 57 minutes. And as much as, honestly, Lynn, to be fair, yeah. even when we turn off Great. this, I feel like yeah. we can just carry on chatting for a bit. I don't want to take up too much of your time. And also, as I say, my, my mate, the plumber's here. Um, yeah, that's great. But, that's great. So we've we've still got, though, Lynn, we've still got just over two minutes, which is actually quite a long time. Um, right. So I feel like... Well, did if, you want to ask something? Yeah, I... I I feel like if I if I go into my wrap up mode, right, good, and we sort of good, we good, we good. sort of get to the end. Um, I mean, literally, Lynn, there's so much. I mean, firstly, actually, I'd like to ask because originally I was going to say, you know, um, I'm going to call this podcast uh, the Lynn Marie Jackson podcast, and maybe I do that. But is there a, what I've said on all of my podcasts? Um, one of my podcasts, which I've done two episodes of the sort of sub series, is called "The Writings of a Suicidal Thinker," which is which is me. Yeah. Um, but when I spoke to my dad, which you said you'd listen to, or bits of it, or whatever, he I said, "What do you want me to call it?" Right. And so he said, "Walk with my father," which I think is a wonderful title. He's a very intelligent man, and it's great. I, you know, I really actually like that, considering that's going to be a sub series as well, a hundred percent. Is yeah. there? Would uh, what would you like it to be called? I'd like to be called reversing bipolar. Reversing bipolar. Because then people they don't so they know about reversing diabetes type two, but nobody's heard of reversing bipolar. So then it'll sit in their mind and they'll think it's a possibility for me. So that's what I would like. But it's up to you. It's your podcast. You can I put your name in it as well, Lynn? Because I I yeah yeah yeah. 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 I'm almost I'm not almost I'm a hundred percent certain you are going to be very well known. Lynn Marie Jackson. I'll be famous, will I? If you want to be, yeah. <laughs> Not really, just send the money. <laughs> <laughs> well then, look, we've got 40 seconds. Do you drink? No, I'll give up drinking. Okay, what, what, do you like, what flowers do you like? Uh, I don't like cut flowers. What's I'm your like thing a... then, Lynn? If someone was to give you a gift, what would it be? In fact, no, let's change that. What's your ideal gift? First thing that comes to your head. There's something musical. Like I'm, I'm getting some chimes from America coming today. Okay, right. So what, what, what? Who's your favourite artist? First one, quick, because we've only got ten seconds. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Okay, amazing. Well, look, 
Lynn, you've been absolutely amazing. We'll carry on talking after this. Everyone, she was amazing. Keep smiling. Stay good. Have the best day. Thank